This is day 39. 38 guys, 38. I'm traveling like there's no tomorrow. This guy woke up today and chose violence and he just said, today we will eat fish. I decided that and we'll, be, we'll just do that. So I guess we're gonna do that now, right? Yes, yes. Seafood. Seafood. All right, we decided to do this 20 minute long walk to the restaurant that we picked. And it is 2 p.m. Not so pleasurable. And here comes my favorite about this country. Crossing a fucking highway without any help. It's mad. And what do I do now again? Look at this. Okay, I cannot with this. I cannot. Wait. Yes! Did it, did it, did it, did it. Come on. Okay, made it here. So you have grass over here as if you were not in the desert they are watering it every single day just to keep it green-ish it's not so perfect but it looks nice overall and here is the sea all right so we were waiting for this for the longest time look at this you guys finally a normal beach without cars this is just beautiful, man. The water is so chill. I haven't seen the water in the ocean or in the sea like this in a really long time. Look at this. Wow, man, and it's crystal clear. Wow. All right, look at this, look at this. That guy is like 300 meters away, where is he? Over there, and the water is just above his knees. Okay, so we're gonna wait here. Let me know this command. This is one of the most peaceful beaches I've ever been in my life. Couple smoking over there. And um, in the meantime, the sun is about to set. It's beautiful, man, beautiful. And the whole beach is so chill. Everyone is here with their family. We are the only ones from any other country, I guess. So everyone is like local. And it's so huge that it's like we have all this place for ourselves right over here. And ah uh, man, super grateful, super grateful. It is beautiful, man. I cleaned the beach for like 30 minutes and uh, now it looks a bit better. Uh, I don't really understand that people who have this beach on a daily basis, you know, like. As, it is, as a citizen here, you can come here every week and come here every day if you want. Maybe not for swimming, but just to enjoy the sunset and then just going home. I don't understand how it's sustainable for them and for their like mentality to leave their trash in here. But, um, but I guess maybe not everyone is the same. While sitting here, I 
was thinking to myself that a lot of us in the West often criticize and even try to change this culture, not just the influence that we have in the media, but every word we say, every single thought we put out on the internet about this culture and any other culture that exists on the world, in the world, that we just don't understand. is influenced by our ideas and our perception of freedom, our perception of liberation. And I would suggest for everyone who feels the urge to change the world in a way that is described in the West, to come here and take a look, just kind of try to understand, try to feel how it is over here. And maybe after you understood some of it, once you came here, maybe then you will have a better picture and a more based opinion, and then you could change the world for the better. It's two hours later, we finally accomplished one of our biggest dreams when we travel to a country is to play football with locals and these two guys came to the beach and um, they were playing with the volleyball and we just walked up to them like hey guys do you want to play soccer with us and uh, they were so down they play football for a local club and um, they are so inspired for the future and they are so so kind super kind people Sultan and Mohammed, good luck for the future guys and see you somewhere yes yes good luck good luck see you somewhere on the television and for closing a good day 5k on the treadmill 25 minutes super happy